what is going down guys beach hd here and today as you can see from both the video title and on the screen now i am doing a rota ronaldo or a trading to ronaldo whichever of those that you want to call it so i will be trading all the way to ronaldo i'm not sure of his value to be quite honest i think at a guess i'm going to say 1.5 million or above um, I started off with a trade of 7.5k over to my current account over here, just so you didn't have to waste an episode watching me get rid of all the bronze that you start off with. And as you look through, I spent 7.5k on all these silvers, I think there's about 3 pages worth. And I just invested, because I've done this method before, I've been, some of you might have checked it out on my channel already, the 250 coin silver BPL trading method, I'll link it in this video description. But if you want, I will go into more depth again on the next episode. Just comment in the comment section if you'd like that. And while I'm listing all these players, as you can see, bought most of these silvers for 250, selling them for 500. Obviously, not all sell for 500, um, so you just change the prices. Got a Harper for 1.2, selling on for 2,000 coins. Um, but yeah, most of the non-shiny silvers go straight up for 500 coins. I've, because I've done this method before, I know that a few don't quite sell for that, but that's what I go for. Jimmy Bullard, I picked up two of them. Um, hopefully, he should be going for that price. Yaskalainen bought for 1.8k and selling on for 2.8k, so 1k profit to be made there. And um, while the rest of these cards are just being put up, i just like to say thank you for yesterday's video, the Wayne, Inform Wayne Rooney review. It would be brilliant if this could get what should we say, we normally target 30 likes, if this could get 35 likes would be great Rooney video yesterday is currently on 59 likes if you haven't seen that then please do go take a look but as you can see on the screen now straight away um, just as I finish listing up these this um, silver player does actually sell pretty much straight away so that was nicely done so just remember to start off with I spent all the coins up to 325 and now as we're just waiting for the players to sell overnight listed and there we go trade pile 25 every single item has sold that we look there and the watch list is also full as well I shall move on to that in a bit but you can see pages and pages of these silvers mostly sold for 500 the bullard for 750 um, another bullard for 650 I have to move one or two down there's that 1k profit on uh, the West Ham goalkeeper there Mostly sort of 500, 400 here and there, but please do post in the comments if you want me to go in depth on the silver trading method because I can do if that's what you want to do, just because it'll help you out a bit more. Or you could watch the one on my channel already. The methods are pretty much the same, to be honest with you. I do list this silver up that didn't sell for another 12 hours, just trying to get rid of him. And now we do have, as you can see, 47 items in the watch list that I have yet to put up. So Carol there in 41212, a bunch of non shiny silvers bought for two hundred coins. A DRB um non shiny there in I think it was four four two. And in Zogbia as well. So Carol stuck up for one point six, should be doubling my profit there. The rest of these silvers are going back up for five hundred coins, so it's doubling my profit. It doesn't seem a lot when you're doing it, but at the very end result it is quite satisfying considering the players you've been selling. Jose Enrique bought for 2.8k and I go on to sell him for 4.9 or that's what I put him up for at the moment anyway. The DRB in 441 bought for 350 coins, I think that was trying to sell him for 750. So a little bit better profit than what I get for the silvers but the silvers all add up as well so it's really really good. Um, hopefully you, some of you guys use it I think as I've had past comments on your videos how well it works. I have had um, feedback given to me about how well it works. I even know that Raymond HD gives me um, comments on Skype and stuff of how well this trading method works. So it is quite a good thing to know. Um, for the Rota Ronaldo series, it would be quite interesting for me to know um, every, say, three or four episodes, do you want a little trading tip involved in it instead of me just trading throughout? Say I found I use a certain gold player like searching method. Do you want me to show you that as well during the video? There'll be less trading in the video, but it'll give you a tip as well. So it could be quite useful to you guys. If you let me both those questions that I've asked so far know, then that'd be helpful for me to how to improve this. 
And we're just coming to the end. We can't fit all of these guys that I've bought into the trade pile. Um, just simply because I bought so many players and it was a bit... I just went a bit mad on spending on the silvers. I should probably bought a couple more golds. A bit more profits to be made on them. But straight away another silver player sells 500 coins. And while we're just waiting, 1.2k in the top right already. Sticking the last player up. These are all in the watch list which I do continue to sell. So started off with 7.5k and if you look in the top right now we're on 27,906 coins. So that's a 20k profit for episode 1 which is good. Everybody looks like they've sold in the trade pile. Just waiting to go in there. I don't know why I've not clicked it yet. So on the whole it's not too bad. I've been trading with silvers. I probably will need to go on to trading with golds as well next episode. So that should be a lot better, um, a lot more helpful for you guys who are on more coins to trade with. And eventually I'll move on to trading with higher end players in forms and all those sorts really. So as you go into it you see most of the silver players on your screen that you see now going for less than 500 are the ones that struggle to go. I removed from the watch list the ones that went for 500 because I needed to put um, the rest of the players on there that wouldn't fit in the trade ball at all so it's a mixed reaction on this bunch of silvers for 500 coins I think I did this on the selling these on the night of the team of the week was out so there was loads of them on the market so they weren't like as in demand that Jose Enrique there that we bought for 2.8k did sell for 4.9k so that's quite a nice profit to be honest with you the silvers you just carry on going keep on moving Diabe sold for 750 Andy Carroll bought for 1.6k, which is a nice profit. Um, Enzo Beer sold for 1.8k, so that was about five or 600 coins profit. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, please don't forget to drop a like. 35 likes on this would be great. If you've not checked the inform, really, please do. And uh, peace, guys.